isn't the whole sort of mode of technology. Hey, I'm going to make something easier and simpler for you, and then people just run to that like mad without thinking about security. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, I think that's the nature of innovation, right? I mean, you, you want to make something work, and that's the most important thing, and people try to secure it later. I think part of it is, can we catch up with the security fast enough before we get into trouble? And Josh, it, I don't think we've even explained what I Am The Cavalry is. What, for those people who don't know, what is I Am The Cavalry outside of the people here at Security B-Sides? It's a grassroots movement of people that realize that our dependence on technology has grown faster than our ability to defend it. You know, we've been so focused on our day jobs that we haven't realized that technology permeates every aspect of our life. Our, our cars, our medical devices, our homes, the Internet of Things, our critical infrastructure. And we want our best and brightest to, to put some of our skills in a, in a pro bono way towards things that can affect public good and public safety. Um, it matters, you know, we have very shared consequences, the risks are getting higher, and we, we, we want to continue to enjoy the technologies we love, we just want a voice of reason and technical literacy to make sure that if and when bad outcomes manifest, um, we have adult and informed responses, and ideally we'd be influencing the industries that we're, we're, we're seeking to help to take smarter risks in that cost-benefit equation. So it's been really inspiring to see the various types of talent, whether they're breakers or builders or fixers, or they're in these industries. But we're, we're going to basically prioritize uh, results over random activity, cooperation over solo action. And uh, we're going to do things that matter, that affect our lives, not just things that collect a paycheck. What is your number one most digestible tip to the non-security community? Uh, I think it's just be aware of the uh, potential um, side effects of technology as we continue to adopt it. For physicians, when you prescribe a certain treatment on a medical device, understand that there could be side effects with that medical device just as there could be with any kind of medication. Uh, and for everyone else, it, it follows kind of the same logic. I like that. Side effects of technology like medication. Do you have another most digestible tip for the non-security community? I'd say just um, start asking the question. So we, we encourage, you know, for example, you're going out to get a new car, ask the question, you know, what, what type of security is in this thing? You have this fancy new, you know, GPS and navigation, ask that question. And same with, you know, patients, you're going in, you're talking to your doctor about your new insulin pump, ask the question, you know, is, is there a security issue here? All right, and I will conclude with you. What is the most digestible tip you would give to the non-security community? I think uh, Adam hit it. It's ask questions. You know, there was a there was a young woman in the audience at my TEDx who had an insulin pump, and she she came like pale as a ghost, saying, "I love my technology, but I don't want it to kill me. What can I do?" She said, "I'm not a researcher." And I said, "Ask your doctor about the risks associated with this device, because the simple question will make the doctor go research it, which might change shift which shift uh, spending behavior, which might get the attention of a you know a product manager at the the device manufacturer." Basically, until we're talking about it, aware of it, none of those free market forces and the curiosity and the dialectic can happen. So I think it starts with asking well-formed questions.